Welcome to a three minute Bible story. After this one, try another one. Subscribe to catch future ones. Andrew was one of the first disciples, but before he was a disciple of Jesus, Andrew was a disciple of John the Baptist. John the Baptist preached, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Then Jesus came along and also preached, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. John said about Jesus that Jesus was the one who would follow him and be the saviour of the world. And Andrew was convinced to follow Jesus. Let's look at their first meeting. Jesus asks Andrew, what do you want? This question is direct and challenging, inviting Andrew to consider what does he really want in life. It's not an offer of untold riches. The question of Jesus is searching. Andrew, what do you want from life? Jesus offers life in all its fullness, a wholesome and satisfying life with future hope. The answer given by Andrew seems strange. Teacher, where are you staying? But by asking where Jesus was staying, Andrew was effectively asking for a conversation to go to the place where Jesus was staying so that they could talk privately and in length and comfort. We don't know the detail of their conversation, but we know that after this discussion, Andrew immediately goes to find his brother Simon to tell him that they had found the Messiah and to bring him to Jesus. It's almost as if the content of the conversation that Andrew needed is not as important as the fact that Jesus is willing to chat. Andrew is called to be one of the 12 disciples and for the next few years he travels around with Jesus, popping up in the story of Jesus quite a few times. This fisherman, an ordinary man, is now a fisher of men being guided by Jesus to continue preaching repentance, calling people everywhere to turn back and acknowledge God for who he is and to live accordingly. Andrew sought the truth, and when he found it, he had to share it. You can find the story of Andrew first meeting Jesus in John chapter 1 in your Bible. <music>